Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to look at the weight to windows, which is yet another variance reduction technique for Monte Carlo neutron transport simulations. The weight window technique is in a way a similar method to the geometry splitting technique, because uh, the method also requires that you partition the system into a number of segments and uh, you need to sort of evaluate the importance of each segment in terms of how much the neutron histories which uh, are coming from those segments can contribute to the results. So the result may be uh, a response of a small detector in a big system. So let me draw the large system with a small detector in the corner. So again we can partition the geometry of the system. I'm going just to demonstrate it on the uh, geometry partitioning, but you can basically apply this also to the energy spectrum. So uh, previously in the geometry splitting technique we have assigned importance to these different segments and we have uh, applied the method uh, when the neutrons were passing through the uh, boundaries between different segments. So when the neutron passed into a segment with a higher importance, the neutron was split into a number of neutrons. On the contrary, uh, by entering a segment of a smaller importance, we have applied the Russian roulette rule and some of the neutron histories were terminated. Now the problem with the geometry splitting technique is that uh, the technique is only applied along the boundaries between the segments. So if the neutron is born within the segment, uh, the technique doesn't change anything, right? So uh, it may be born inside the segment and eventually it may be terminated within the segment and uh, the neutron is not split, right? It may be born in the most important segment, but it will never be split into more number of neutron histories, simply because it didn't cross the boundaries. So the weight window technique is uh, trying to solve this problem. It's trying to apply itself to all the neutron histories, even those which are not crossing the boundaries between different segments. So for instance, when a fission neutron is born here, in the most important uh, part of the system, it will immediately be split into a number of uh, neutron histories. So eventually, the, this part of the system will be filled with uh, uh, many neutron histories, but none of the history will have a large uh, statistical weight. On the contrary, there will not be many neutron history simulated in the least important parts of the system, but those neutron histories that uh, would be simulated there would have a relatively large statistical weight, simply because those neutron histories would not be split up. So the idea of the weight window technique is to decide a range of the statistical weights that are uh, allowed in different uh, segments of the system. So those segments which are important, like this one, the range of the statistical weights that would be allowed in them would be very small. So uh, the range could be, for instance, from 0.01 to 0.05. Uh, on the contrary, those segments in the system which are uh, not very important would have very uh, large statistical weights, for instance uh, 0.5 to 1. And to the middle segment we can assign the range of the statistical weights, for instance 0.1 to 0.3. Now the weight window technique actually makes sure that all the neutron histories which are present within the segments always have the statistical weight within this range. Now this range is called the weight window. 
So the weight window is the range of the allowed statistical weights. So you can see the lower limit of the weight window and the upper limit of the weight window. So you need to decide two parameters, uh, the lower limit and the upper limit for each uh, segment in the geometry. If you wanted to apply the technique also on the energy, then you would also have to decide two limits for each uh, energy window. So how does the method actually work? So for instance, when the fission neutron is born here, uh, it is typically assigned a statistical weight of 1. Uh, but as you can see, the statistical uh, weight of 1 is not allowed in this segment. The maximal allowed weight is 0 0.05. So this uh, neutron has to be split. So in this case, it has to be split into 20 uh, neutrons. So uh, 20 of independent neutron histories will start with the same uh, direction and energy as the original neutron. And the weight of all these uh, 20 histories will be 5% uh, of the original uh, neutron history. Now, as the neutrons scatter around, uh, their, their weight will decrease uh, because of the implicit capture. Eventually, it will uh, decrease below this lower limit, the minimal allowed statistical weight. When that happens, we will use the Russian roulette rule to decide its fate. So either the neutron uh, history will be terminated or it will be allowed to continue, in which case we will increase its weight. So then again the weight of the neutron will fall within the weight window and it will be uh, simulated until it drops below the uh, lower limit again. If a neutron is passing from uh, here to here, it's very likely to be killed uh, because its weight is going to be below 0.05, right? Uh, so long as it survives in this segment, we know that uh, its weight is within this weight window, so it must be smaller than 0.05. But as you can see, 0.05 is below the lower limit of the weight window for this middle segment. So uh, uh, the Russian roulette will decide its fate. Either it will be killed or the Russian roulette may decide that its simulation will continue, but then uh, its weight will be increased. So, because the technique is treating all the neutrons, not just those which are passing between the boundaries between the segments, the weight window technique has a bigger potential than the geometry splitting technique, but it's more difficult to use it because you have to decide two parameters, at least two parameters, for each uh, geometry segment. So here I have just included a brief description of the weight window technique. So you have to partition the geometry of the system into a number of uh, segments. And we have to assign the weight windows to each segment. So we need to decide the lower and the upper weight limit to these uh, weight windows. And uh, when we simulate the neutron uh, histories, we simply compare the current weight of the neutron history to this window. If it falls within the window, we just continue the simulation without making any change to the weight of the neutron. However, if the weight falls below the lower limit of the weight window, then we just simply apply the Russian roulette rules on the neutron history and uh, that will decide the fate. The history may be either terminated or it may be allowed to continue, in that case the uh, weight is increased. If the weight is above the upper limit of the weight window, then we split the neutron history into more particles. Uh, in that case the weight will be reduced correspondingly. So uh, this will be the same procedure that we have already described 
for the geometry splitting technique. Now the MCMP manual uh, recommends that you set the upper limit for the weight window uh, five times bigger as the lower limit for the weight window. And that is all for now. Have a nice day.